Hi guys, my name is Bradley Mitchell. I'm with Dixie RV, and today we're going to do a walk around on the Heartland Sundance 261 RK. First feature about the 261 that I'd like to share with you guys is the power tongue jack. So to a lot of you, it might not be so important, but to the women or the ones that don't like to crank it and throw their shoulder out, this tongue jack really comes in handy, especially when loading and unloading from a vehicle. It's easy access, you flip your switch, you turn it on, up is down, down is up. It's all powered, no more cranking, no more manually trying to raise it up. You have your two LP tanks here with your shield on it, as well as your battery with the waterproof casing in the back. It is equipped, if you wanna put two there, you can. Um, some people like to upgrade to two, but one would be just fine. Um, here you also have your seven way plug as well. When you plug this into the back of your truck, it actually feeds power to the battery. So for the people that are worried about their battery being charged or not lasting, um, anytime you're pulling or towing your camper and you're plugged into your seven way, you're actually getting power supply to the camper, which is a really cool benefit for camping. You have your fiberglass cap on the front here with your dyno matting shield. This is cool, so if you're, if you're traveling down the road, any kind of debris, rocks, anything hits, it's gonna shoot it straight to the ground versus it knocking it back to your truck and putting any kind of dings or dents in your back bumper. You also get your two LED lights for loading at night. But more importantly, this looks really cool pulling down the road at nighttime when you got that friend pulling beside you and you want to have the better looking camper, this is a really nice camper, the Heartland Sundance. Moving around the side, you have a fully pass-through storage unit, pass which is storage. also accessible through the bed. If you want to lift your bed and you want to have storage under there as well, you can get there if it's cold outside or if it's too hot and you have one of the lazy days where you like to just lay in bed and you don't really want to do much, then you can actually access the pass-through storage through your bedroom. This is a magnet latch. So no more trying to load and unload stuff with one arm. Now you can actually put it up there and you can use both of your arms to get through here. This is also slam latch, so no matter how hard you slam it, you're never gonna break it. This is a one slide unit for those of you who don't like more than one slide. It still accommodates plenty of room. Here's where you would plug your city water connection in. This as well as another water supply, if you want to plug in a water hose or anything, you can actually feed from your potable tank inside the camper. This is your 50 amp plug-in. You have two satellite plug-ins as well on the outside, so plenty of room to access any kind of satellite channeling through the camper and plugging into other ports. Nitrogen inflated spare tire on the back. Fun science fact, the reason this nitrogen inflated is because a nitrogen molecule is a lot thicker than an air molecule. So if you run over a nail or anything like that, puncture the tire in any kind of way, then it'll actually give you more time to get to a gas station or some kind of air source to air it back up and plug in and fix it so you can be back on the road. This is a fully powered awning. It is a nice size awning as you can see. It pretty much runs down the whole side of the camper. Comes out pretty far as well. So for all you campers that like to sit outside and enjoy the outside but don't want to get burned by the sun, you have plenty of shielding from that. This is an LED strip. At nighttime, it gives you a lighting display so you can actually see what's going on outside of the camper. This is a tandem tow. You have two fully waterproof marine grade speakers from the outside. So if you like enjoying outside music and entertainment when you're barbecuing, and cooking, friends, family, you're out by the lake, anywhere like that, then you can actually have access to the music outside. If you look up at the top, you have two, one on each side three quarter inch gutter spouts and what that does is allows the water that comes from the roof to come off of your camper and not run down the sides and mess up any seals or cause any any kind of oxidation or anything like that on your fiberglass. The last feature I would like to talk about are your manual jacks. These are your leveling jacks. Some people would prefer automatic, some people prefer manual. The benefit of having the manual leveling jacks is it also is covered under our forever warranty that's given to you by us as a dealership. Now moving along to the forever warranty, if you look over here, the lifetime warranty covers all of your major components that tend to break, or at least most of them. Your suspension, your water systems, your kitchen center, your heating and air conditioning systems, brake system, LP gas system, deluxe appliances, interior and exterior components, as well as the manual leveling jacks that I just went over. 
Now this lifetime warranty is given to you for free. It's no cost to you. So a lot of people wonder why I don't cover slides or any kind of other structural warranties that come regularly with, from the manufacturers. But this is just a thank you from buying from us, from Dixie RV. Now that you know about the outside, let's go check out the inside. All right, now that we've seen the outside, we're gonna move along to the inside. Some of the features in this 261 are absolutely phenomenal. This is one of the better campers um, that we have that's in our fiberglass, cheaper price range units. Um, you do have the vacuum bonded sidewalls with the two inch block foam insulation. So at nighttime, if you're around other campers, you're in a campground, there's a racetrack, there's a lot of loud noises or anything like that outside. Um, it kind of mutes the sound and the tone a lot better. So you're not being woken up by all the sound or whatnot. Um, these cabinets are actually deep cabinets for storage. Storage seems to be a big major beneficial factor to a lot of campers. Uh, they want to know that everything that they do is going to have enough storage unit in it so they can store all their amenities or whatnot. Um, you, on this one, one of the cooler features is you actually have an LED underpass for the dinette. This dinette actually folds down and makes into a nice little twin bed for a younger sibling or, or someone that's not six foot tall but it still accommodates enough sleeping room and helps with the sleeping arrangements if you have guests or anything like that staying with you grandkids kids or whatnot um if you come look at this refrigerator right here you got your six cubic foot of refrigerator space so it's pretty sizable in the rvs um six to eight foot you know they upgrade them time to time but every one of these are going to fit the best standard that it possibly can for the coach you have your stainless steel microwave as well as your oven down low you have your three eye burner this also has counter accessibility so if you want to close it off and use it for more counter space than you can come in here you have your aluminum blinds the reason for that is anytime you're cooking in a kitchen and you have any grease or anything of that nature that seems to pop and get on things you don't want it to melt or burn or or cause a fire of any sort so they like to put them in here but they're still no different than at your home or anywhere else if you have any fish camp or anything like that you do have your stainless steel deep sink uh, this is not a parted sink a lot of people like the parted sinks a lot of people don't but for the people that don't this is a really cool feature and a beneficial factor for dishes if you if you don't like dishwashers you like to personally clean your dishes with your hands or whatnot you got your high-rise faucet that actually comes down so it's easier accessible for anything that you need of that nature looking up top a little higher again deep cabinets if you take the plug out of the microwave just to show you in your old campers you don't have a lot of space you know I'm, i know in the older ones when you try to shut them sometimes they hang out or whatnot but this you can actually close it up plenty of space for bowls and plates and any kind of plastic ware and dishes of any kind of sort that you would like to bring with you under the kitchen counter space as well um extra for any kind of detergents dishwashing hand soap um pots and pans if you need the extra storage you have your pull out drawers this is already sectioned for your silverware such as knives spoons and forks Coming over here, so this is one of the features I like about the Sundance. You can pull it down. You have an LED lidded cup holder if you're sitting here. It's pretty cool. Uh, it lights up a bluish color, but you have USB ports here. His or hers or the kids or anybody that's sitting down that wants to charge their phone. No more having to get an extension cord from a 110 plug-in. You can actually have accessibility right next to you. Or it can flip up, and if you need extra sleeping space, then it's a jackknife fold sofa. If you look under the sofa, you actually have more storage space. It's like a hidden feature in here. So there's definitely a lot of storage space in this Sundance. Um, you have your drawers beside. So if you want to keep any magazines or any kind of remotes or radio remotes or satellite remotes or anything like that, batteries, anything you need to access when you're in your living room. You also have a cabinet under here as well. So if you want to keep DVDs, CDs, um, any kind of video gaming stuff in here. 
you look up here, this is where you would mount your TV bracket for your television. Um, all your hookups are here, so you can get the swivel mount if you want to. That's what I would recommend. That way you can actually swivel it out and move it so you can see it. A lot of people like the television being in front of them when they're sitting down. Um, but when they're not sitting down or, or they're having to look at an angle, it kind of gets aggravating. So you can actually get access to a sway mount. That way your TV is in front of you now or you can use it when you're eating as well as cooking. Up top here you have your radio. It's also a CD player. Uh, Bluetooth accessibility, USB. Moving on along, this is a really, really beneficial feature about the Sundance. So if you take a look, I'll stick my arm all the way in it. You can see how deep this is. This is important to a lot of the housewives or the women that like to keep deep linen cabinets. That way they can have bedding or they can have pillow casing or pillows. Or on the opposite side, you can use towels, rags, stuff like that. Extra hanging space for a closet on this side, or you can use this as wardrobe. You can pretty much use it for any type of storage accessibility that you need. Moving along to the bathroom. Man, wow, this bathroom is cool. So here you have your sink, and you have counter space on it. I know a lot of the other campers, if you look at them, Counter space is a big deal to some people, but up top you have your amenity cabinets such as toothpaste, toothbrush, Listerine, cologne, deodorant, anything like that that you would like to keep from falling all over the place when you're traveling. You have your glass mounted shower, which is also really cool. So new feature they're starting to put in these things. So plenty of room. You have your skylight up top, so if you're six foot tall and you're worried about headroom, you got plenty extra right there. And looking in here, just more storage. It's just endless amounts of storage after storage after storage. Above the toilet, you have another storage pocket. If you're in the shower and you like to hang your towels while you're in the shower so you can have easy access to them when you step out, you can do that as well. On this bathroom, this is not a pocket door. It's actually a full closable door. So moving in the bedroom. Now, in the bedroom you have your 110 plug-in on the left side and 110 plug-in on the right side. That way if you have any kind of CPAP machines or anything like that that you need to plug up, then you have a place to set it and plug it up as well. If you want to do your phone chargers, if you look up here you have a double USB port above the bed. You have your two LED lights for reading. If you look above the bed you have more pocket storage both ends. So you have a lot of storage under the bed with easy lift access. So this one you don't have to hold like you typically do on a lot of the other ones. You have your mirrored closets for more hanging. Also you have a door accessibility. So if you're laying in your bed you want to enjoy the nature, enjoy outside, you want to get a breeze going in here, you can open the door pull the latch, bring it back to keep any kind of bugs or insects from coming in, shut that, and there you go. And then you have outside breeze while you're laying in your bed. So you get the full beneficial feeling of actually camping. So a lot of people want to know the difference between fifth wheels and travel trailers. Headroom would be probably the number one thing that I could coach them on, the difference between the two. Um, the cool thing about the Heartland products is a lot of their travel trailers, especially in the Sundance, they like to dome the roofs, so it's a dome-shaped roof for more headroom. That way you're not feeling so claustrophobic or in a more of a confined space. You have 15,000 on your AC, fully ducted. This is a 50 amp unit. This is probably one of the smallest 50 amp units out there on the market today. 50 amp meaning if you want to plug a lot of electrical such as a hair dryer, um, a, a toaster, a blender, anything like that, you're charging a phone. On your 30 amp units, if you have a lot of power supply going in at one time, it tends to trip the breakers every now and then. But with the 50 amp unit, you're reassured that you have enough power supply throughout the whole camper. That way you can use any kind of electronics and you can plug them in all at the same time if you'd like. Well, thank you for doing the tour with me. My name is Bradley Mitchell. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call Dixie RV at the Hammond location or you can call me on my cell. My number is 872-227-1983. Again, that's 872-227-1983. 
Uh, if you're passing through and you want to stop and check it out in person, you can come to the front desk and ask for me or you can give me a phone call at any time during the day. Thank you for choosing Dixie RV and we're helping you retire one weekend at a time.